Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. All right, today I wanna hang out with you guys, do something entirely different, something I haven't really been able to do with you guys, and that is show you a, a more finished product, if you will. And I know Troy, with Troy Clog and uh, Troy Clog Associates, he would totally tell me to redo that intro because he's just a normal, regular guy. But here's the deal. Um, a lot of you guys wanna see maybe more of a, a finished product with running a larger lawn and landscape business. Well, where I live, I've told you guys this a, a bunch, is that I'm swimming with sharks. There's some really big regional players and just some really big national players where I live and Troy Clog is one of those guys. So we're gonna do something different. We're gonna do a, uh, a office walkthrough and tour of somebody who's kind of at the other end of the spectrum with a large business. I'm really excited about this. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy meeting Troy. He is a, uh, a gem in the uh, lawn and landscape industry. He's been doing it for over 40 years. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. Let's check it out. Hey, there he is. Hey, Brian. Troy Clog, what's up, brother? How are you? Wonderful. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Well, hey, uh, thanks for taking the time to do a video like this. Uh, I've actually been hanging out here for uh, about an hour with you, and yeah. uh, it's been really, really good time. I tried to just get, share your way, but it didn't happen. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Um, a lot of folks know that my channel is all about helping like people grow a more successful business, mm -hmm. um, and we do talk a lot to that that zero to 250 guy, right? Um, but a lot of these guys always want to know, hey, there's there's a light at the end of the tunnel for some of us building a larger company and and so it could be a train <laughs> so could be a train so long story short i want to get troy on the podcast eventually um just to just to share his his story and everything he's got going on but i asked him selfishly i said uh, about two weeks ago would you ever be open to doing a shop tour and just kind of showing everybody your facilities and and this mega operation that you guys get going on and i know you're probably like stop saying that but um but i'm a troy clog fan and anybody who knows troy in the industry knows he's a really respected dude Really nice guy. So, with all those niceties being said, I really appreciate you. My, oh, open my up your doors. Pleasure. So, so here's the deal. Um, quick little walkthrough and tour of your new shop. Um, why don't you give everybody maybe like the lay of the land? This is you've been in here for about two years now. Yep, in here about two years. Here, you take it away. Uh, bought the building about a year before that. It was mostly about building the uh, the final. I don't know, kind okay. of final home office for, for us after all these years. And then we do everything else from a satellite location. Okay. So the room you're standing in now is designed and built mostly for entertaining. We like to entertain. <laughs> um, and for the guys to meet in the mornings or as simply as you did when you first came in here, the foot traffic's designed for our receptionist to meet you and then say, hey, would you like coffee, water, whatever, meet you in here. So this space we're standing in, is and everything in this building you'll find is intentionally designed to be pretty bulletproof okay right i, I mean i know who we are i'm wearing <laughs> work boots right now everybody wears boots gets dirty mm -hmm. leans on walls Mud. can't have pretty can't have pretty white walls can't have stuff that that you know landscaper contractor guys are going to make dirty has to be durable i love it so the walls are brick for a reason so that they'll put up with that um our kitchen and entertainment area here is all everything's concrete brick, stone, um, designed so that we don't have to uh, maintain or, or screw things up. So, in a, so on a, in a party or in a training session, you would find us in this space. Three different monitors or a projector and screen to pull down. Okay. Um, when we're doing presentations. A day like today, it's pretty quiet around here. Yeah. In, in the mornings, in a typical construction arena, you would find a foreman standing at each one of these tables with their crews. Okay. Um, kind of getting the program, the lay of the land for the day. Their coffee's out here, some vending machines, etc. This time it's snow season, so there's not a lot of landscape notes on the boards. Um, and same as you'll see when we go in here where the schedule board is. Okay. So this part of the building was, is again, the schedule board's quiet right now. But we are typically booked out a solid 10 weeks. 
wow. in the summer. These would go live with our LMN software okay. so that we can track everything also digitally. Shout out so, to LMN, really good so people there. Yep. Love LMN. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the foreman meet here in the morning, but mostly this section is for salespeople and operations people to meet twice a week, every Monday and every Thursday, because all of us know in this business, everything changes. So the schedules get rearranged, who's going where, whether or not it's raining, et cetera. Okay. So that's what goes on here. Wow. We're not gonna do a seven acre tour of the property. <laughs> We'd be here all day. But a portion of the fleet is out here. Um, so again, in the, in the summertime, these are all organized by different types of crews, so forth. The pole barn you can see in the back yep. is uh, Over here. anywhere from six lawn crews or so and two or three irrigation crews. Uh, their equipment's out there. It looks very similar to this on the inside. Um, as far as the shop environment, no. What, but then they come in here. What's yeah, the what's the what's the total square foot of a facility like this? Or nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand. These old piece. It's about it's about eight thousand square feet of office and training. The stuff we're walking through now. The rest of it is shop. Well, you know, I just bought my first ten by ten unit. My uh, my I outdoor heard. storage. <laughs> so I'm making it happen, brother. So it's right here. It's the spot we're this, standing in. This whole area right here yeah, <laughs> is your spot. Oh, so, well, been, they, there, been there, done that. When they um, say there's always a bigger fish, right? Been there, done that. <laughs> um, as we walk down the halls, uh, different managers have their name, their goals, their quotes of choice. Mm. Um, this building is all pretty uh, environmentally friendly so you have to walk in each room and set off the motion sensors to get the lights on get out of here oh um, that's don't want to cool. burn any wasted energy mm -hmm. more natural product bamboo on the ground and or concrete so three different managers in here mm -hmm. again we're in the winter season so each one of these people manage uh, an area for snow okay in the summer uh, so this is just office after office, the same environment. I can't, I don't want to walk in every room and dance, but oh, yeah. more managers, more managers. Um, the space that we just walked around is kind of our, our meeting, meeting room for most meetings. We have another one that I'll show you in a second. Sure. Um, yeah. So a lot Last of- door out to the open space. This is kept open most of the time, but so most people have open ceiling offices. We're pretty transparent around here, but if you have to go to a place and have a meeting with a closed door, this would be one of them. Okay. And now you've been, and people don't know, maybe as we're walking, maybe like mm -hmm. a, a quick little ad lib so people know your whole background. I did a horrible introduction out front. I was just, <laughs> I was just gated to be here. But you, you've been in the industry for a long while. You're an yeah, OG. Decades. Yeah. And uh, you were you were telling me easy, uh, it's easier to say all the things I haven't seen versus what I have seen, right? Because yeah. cause you've seen it all. Well, you know, and uh, we were just laughing. About I don't want to see it. Anything that I haven't seen is is probably a bad thing. So I don't want to see any more of those. Amen. But, Amen. But yeah, I'll give you I'll give you that insight in a minute. Sure. The uh, so this is just kind of a sales uh, the the sales room. There are up to four salespeople here at any time, whether it's landscape design work or maintenance. Matt Scott's office. Matt is director of operations and COO. He pretty much mm -hmm. runs the joint. It's yep. not me. He gets more credit than I do. <laughs> sure. Um, at this point in life, we'll circle back to the office environment. Jennifer, who's gone home for the day, this would be where contracts are, are, uh, are made. And again, we just walked down a hallway. So the operations people walk back and forth here in the morning. Again, everything is super durable. This yep. is just pole barn siding down here. Sure piece of stone, brick, so that we don't worry again about dirt, boots, it's just, that's the way we live. Right, right? practical so environment. Let's, let's be practical. Um, controller, finance, bookkeeper offices up and down that hallway. Hmm. You can't, you know, you can't tour the building without finding a dog or two. So, <laughs> Sonny's here right now. What's up, bud? Um, it's a dog friendly environment, not it's everybody. It's a very dog friendly environment. I Blue love jeans, it. boots, dogs, and then, uh, Michelle, who's my admin and also does a bunch of our invoicing. Gotcha. We'll go to my office last. Gotcha. I love it. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to, to open up and share a little bit more about yeah. your facility. It's been uh, long overdue. I've been wanting to bug you about this for, for the last six months. <laughs> well, you know, it's not snowing, so we have we both have a little bit of time. That's, that's part of the reason for the video. <laughs> so we're passing through the next space um, as we're headed towards the shop. So this is actually the back of my office. 
Yeah, I mean, stop for a second. I mean, a little bit of history is, yeah, I was a 17 year old kid banging on doors. You know, hey, can I cut your grass? Went to school for a little while, went to college for a little while. Um, that wasn't a great fit for me. I was borrowing money to go to school and cutting grass when I wasn't in school. Sure. So, uh, yeah, made the move, jumped in early on, and uh, kind of was, I was given the one year warning by my parents at 19 or 20 years old. You can, you can live in the basement one more year, kid, and then you're out of here. Right. So the next year we bought the first house. Um, if we make it to the other side of the shop and he's still there, employee number one is still here after 40 years. Wow. Now. So Greg and I started as two kids with just cutting grass. Sure. This is another space, a little leftovers. I didn't know we were doing a tour today. We might have prettied it up. Um, <laughs> just another space where we do sales meetings. We keep uh, some of our sales scoreboards as the season gets going. All those digitals will go live. Wow. Um, I love the design. Another. Yeah, well, and again, trying to keep things practical. This is all just built with two painted two by fours, mm -hmm. clear coated on two by sixes, just storage of odds and ends. Love it. This is a you know, section we're not quite finished with, of course, is always leftovers. And then this piece, the next 8,000 square feet is all shop. Wow. So everything from the parts kind of room-ish we're walking through. <coughs> to trucks being serviced, um, Google Docs live up on the wall to maintain um, what needs to be worked on and what doesn't. Um, and there's a menagerie of stuff in here. So there's everything from snow equipment being worked on to our CR mini estimators in here, probably getting maintenance, just regular maintenance done to it. Nice. Um, yeah, we'd be surprised what we would, what we would be working on in here. So this is, uh, I'm telling everybody, this is what the uh, the, un the breakthrough looks like, right? <laughs> <laughs> we, you were joking about that earlier. Yeah. Yes You know, no. as we discussed earlier, Brian, there's a lot of fun stages in business. So <laughs> for all of those watching or listening that, uh, that um, are at a happy size, whatever that is, mm -hmm. and it works for your lifestyle, don't don't believe that all this is, uh, is where you need to be. It's, right. Uh, um, the biggest thing is to realize that your job description is going to change dramatically. Mm. So I'm, I'm professed to be really good at cutting grass, and trimming shrubs, and plowing snow, um, even putting together some good sales documents and designs. But owning and running a business and making sure that all the people that have chosen to dedicate their life here are properly handled. Sure. That's one heck of a challenge, and a lot of responsibility. And I don't—I have a lot of respect for the guys who've done uh, far better than I have along the way. Sure. Um, but we're doing the best we can and having fun as, as it goes along. So, Amen. I think you guys are so doing pretty good. So you're in the good. shop, man. You'll see all kinds of stuff. I see the semi tractor was in here getting some work done. We build a lot of our own equipment. So this one is a salter that we took off of another truck that we parted out along the way. We just recently sandblasted and painted it. Nice. And then mounted it. Uh, Greg is mounting it on this truck. So that's an old cabin chassis that we originally used as a watering truck. You do a lot with um, uh, the the pink deicer and like mm -hmm. pink. What, maybe if people don't know the pink and blue, where did you come up with the color scheme? Well, the pink and blue has been around forever. Okay. Um, but the choice to become philanthrop, more philanthropic, and push it through the business is that decision's maybe eight or nine years old. So yes, hot pink de-icer yep. is, our, is our product that we sell really all over the whole snow region now. Kansas City up to Minneapolis, all the way across into the East Coast, it's now available and in Canada. Gotcha. Um, so 15 cents from every bag that we sell go to local families financially affected by breast cancer. Wow. So that's all on the website, Hot Pink Deicer. You can find all that information. And and so when other communities, like we're, we've sent money into Chicago mm -hmm. and specifically to people um, that they have found in their communities for the guys who buy from us in Chicago, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it's really just cool. that simple. Yep. If somebody bought, we multiply by 15 cents. Yeah. They tell us who we want to write the check to and we write the check. That's really no, cool. No, uh, no, no glitz or glamor on that. So I, I see a lot of your rigs at uh, GIE, so that's why yeah. I was asking. Well, well, GIE, that started with like some of this equipment over here. Douglas Dynamics partnered with us early on mm -hmm. um, and understand, understood the vision. 
to help make my equipment pink. Again, this old salter next to us, we sprayed pink, but um, the newer equipment, if we order early enough, can come in pink in color. Gotcha. Um, and so when you see us at the GIE, we are working with Douglas Dynamics, who owns Western and Fisher and Snow X and so many others, to help them raise money for Susan G. Coleman, which is their their choice. Very so cool. we just go down and help them. That yeah. has got, and in return, they help us. So it's just kind of the way the world works. I love it, man. I believe. Well, I, I, I respect so. that. That's really cool. So yeah, we're just gonna, you know, that's, that's what we see out here. A lot of equipment, um, three to five full-time mechanics at any one point. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys got lawnmowers that come in here probably too at that yeah, time of the season? Yeah, I mean at that time of the season, right now they're all out in the other building, which is looks a lot like this building, this portion, which means it's shop-like. Gotcha. Um, and the guys will dig into that maintenance and prepping that equipment. Gotcha. Real soon. I like it, so. man. Well, this is a... Uh, what else do you need to know, Brian? Well, you got your office, you said. Oh, you know, yeah. Well, we, we can go there. We're, uh, I'm just hanging. I, I appreciate <laughs> you... Uh, it's not too often you get to see the behind the scenes of, uh, of an operation this size. And, uh, and it's not lip service. I, I appreciate you opening up. And well, my pleasure. We're, uh... people, people don't believe when I say that I'm, I'm swimming with sharks in my region. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, in a good way. There's some of the regionally largest guys here where I live, you know. And so, yeah. This is kind of a, a selfish tour for me, too. Because I'm like, you know, go to my biggest competitor and get the behind the scenes tour, you know, so. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> um, yeah, so for the real estate guys paying attention, we're passing through different doors because this building was a multi-tenant building okay. when we purchased it. So the, you can stand right here, it kind of shows the whole story. So where we came from over here in this um, Phase office one. environment and training, that was all one large tenant, but it didn't look anything like that. Guys gotcha. were fixing bulldozers. That's entirely designed built by us. Gotcha. The little skinny space we're in now mm -hmm. was a long tenant. And, and, and you can just picture, I mean, it looks a lot like the space I first rented right. years ago. Sure. It had a little tiny office up front and all this was shop space. Gotcha. Trucks, trailers, this wall wasn't here. Right. This, this space that we were in earlier that's kind of a really pretty office space, none of that was here. This was just where contractors kept kept their stuff. So we gutted it all, right. made it pretty. And the other portion we were just in is obviously where all the shop is. And that was two tenants. That wall, that hole didn't exist. So there were two tenants in there. Same thing, just a bunch of contractors running this building. You got, you got your uh, commercial version of HGTV I, over here, you know? When I bought it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm kind of into it, right? So this wall I did in, uh, in plywood the cute office there you go is my wife's where all the grandchildren pictures and all the fun stuff happens there and, you then, go. and then you we found it to the final resting place of my office um wow where you know i work as we discussed earlier brian i work a lot i spend a lot of time in in my office i always have because i love it right and so um, this is really cool. I want it to be comfortable. Right. And so for me, design and had the desk built 20 some years ago. It's kind of a neat piece. There's some pictures of family and anyway, it's yeah. just, it's just cozy. Yeah. Like in, uh, this is, this is, this is my vibe. I like the dim light. It seems kind of Zen in here, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I never was good at school, remember? So no school lights, nothing too bright. I like it. Well, <laughs> and you have a lot of responsibilities, obviously. So it's cool to just kind of probably recluse in here sometimes if you need to, you know? Yeah. Well, it's the my title is on the door. Mm. Janitor's closet. <laughs> hey, amen. I love it. I borrowed that from a from a good friend, Jeff Tovar, in Chicago when I toured his facility years ago, and. Uh, and, I, and we toured the whole facility, and then I said, well, where's your office? <laughs> and we had to walk down a hall that was labeled the janitor's closet. So oh my God. I, I can't profess to be the creator of that. So he can have all the credit. But yeah, yeah I can close that door and block off the rest of the space the, and the world and, out yeah, there and just hang out. But we're a pretty open door company. So well, we're usually hanging around talking. And, you know, I, I, I really do appreciate you taking the time to open up and, mm, and just to share because, you know, like I said, where, where I live, I didn't know 12, 13 years ago uh, where I grew up 
that you know I have some of the biggest players regionally and in the country. I mean, if you guys um, are enjoying this whole walkthrough and appreciate Troy opening up, do me a big favor and smash that thumbs up because you know for for somebody like Troy to take some time out of his day, I, he seems really calm and busy. But I mean, this is this is an aircraft carrier moving down the road, you know, and uh, cool. it's it's pretty cool to have you open up and and be able to share. And, and by by the way, like Troy's a huge just you're a pillar in the community. But you're you're a great guy at a high level that always is taking the time to help guys like me, uh, Mike Bedell, you know Mike. And Very uh, well. so it's it's just one of those cool things. Um, any 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 final? Let me ask you this: if you, if you ever get some time, would you be open to doing a podcast together? Yeah, absolutely. I I think there'd be. To help. It'd be a really good resource uh, to have this guy's brain just out there on the internet because we spent an hour catching up before we even shot this video. And so I really just appreciate his, his business mindset and what he's accomplished. But um, any, any parting thoughts that you got for everybody? Um, maybe the zero to 250 guy or you know any last minute pearls of wisdom? <laughs> well, you know, I, I think I addressed it a little bit earlier when we were talking, Brian, right? I mean, my, my history is, is a lot like so many guys banging on a door asking for business. I just, I, what I would wish and pray for everyone in this industry to realize how valuable they really are, mm -hmm. right? We hear all the time it's a low barrier of entry business and that's true, it is. Sure. But that doesn't mean for those of us like you that are still out doing some work in the field, when I did, it doesn't mean that we're not important and we don't, we shouldn't value our time and our effort. Right. We're coming home, we're doing the invoicing at night, we're working on equipment, we're selling on the weekends, whatever we're doing, we're putting in a bunch of hours, not just cutting the grass or plowing the snow mm -hmm. for X amount of dollars. Um, and as the business grows, the people we hire, right? And we should all want to hire and, and, and treat everybody the best we can. Sure. Benefits packages, I mean, all the stuff safe vehicles to drive, safe equipment. We should be able to pay people really well. We should be able to yeah. pay. And, and, and it's the industry itself that allows us to, 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 charge, to charge less money or drive the price down. So my wish is and my prayer is don't give yourself away. Don't, don't. Whether, whether you're doing $100,000 a year, a million dollars a year, $10 million a year, yeah. don't give it away. Right. There are far less people born and raised every day who want to work as hard as you guys are. Mm -hmm. Be proud of it. Yeah. Own it. Charge for it. If, yeah. at, if at certain plateaus you can make a lot more profit because of it, that's awesome. Don't right. give it away. Don't don't look at the big guy and say, well, his overhead's higher or her overhead's higher. We could go into another seminar about that, but by <laughs> percentage, that's really not the case. Right. Where right. all the money is spent is on quality people and how you take care of them, hmm. followed by equipment and how you take care of it. After that, it all of our costs are the same. Right. So, Charge enough for what you're worth. Be proud of who you are, and uh, and especially those who you who you employ. Well, I appreciate the tips, man. Um, again, this is a rare you know treat for me, and just something different. I know we're always doing business mindset videos and review videos and business mindset, and you know it's always about equipment. But um, again. Uh, Troy, I, like I said, I don't think Troy would profess to be a finished product by any means. Nope. Um, but the cool thing is, is when, when some of you guys, you have really big dreams, really big goals. And, and I can only take you so far on that journey, right? And so when, uh, when Troy said, yes, let's do a, a walkthrough and a tour and just, just get to know each other more, just get to hang out, um, I jumped at the opportunity. So again, if you guys really do uh, appreciate this and appreciate the, the different type of content, just do me a big favor, shoot a big th uh, salad with a thumbs up. And uh, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe because we're always doing fun videos like all that. So, hey, Troy, yeah. super appreciate it, brother. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon, Brian. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.